The figures vary depending on many factors, but the reasons for divorce today seem to be the same. While many people might point to infidelity as one of the main causes of divorce, nothing could be further from the truth. Experts say communication problems come first. But there are plenty of other reasons why marriages fail. Maybe yours is heading in the same direction, and you don't even realize it. Here are 10 reasons why people get divorced these days. You jumped into a marriage too quickly. How do you feel about getting married because that's what you think you're supposed to do? The pressure around you is one factor that throws you into a marriage that has no way of ending well. Many find out only afterwards that the problems were there from the start, but they had already taken the plunge. The expectations of people around you, the desire to keep up with the world or the pressure of age can push you without realizing it into a marriage that will inevitably end in divorce. You have lost your identity. A codependent relationship is not healthy. When you don't have your own interests or the opportunity to express yourself outside of the couple, the relationship is as good as over. If you don't feel comfortable doing things without your partner or don't know what music, movies, or food you used to like coming into your life, you probably feel lost and feel like you're drowning without knowing why. You're overwhelmed by parental duties. When children appear, most parents neglect or forget that they are part of a couple. As children grow up and need less attention, many spouses find that they have drifted apart and don't even remember why they were ever married because they no longer have anything in common. Don't share the same views. One's a saver, one's a spender. Your idea of a weekend getaway is a cozy cabin in the woods, and your evil partner wants to go out on the town or to a game. Does he think your job is to cook and clean, but you disagree? Why didn't he mention these things before? Maybe you should have asked. Chances are slim that he's changed, your expectations have changed. It's possible for a relationship to work with so many differences between partners, but most fail. Sex life is as good as non-existent. Sometime in a marriage a subtle shift in intimacy takes place. The idea arises that he is no longer as romantic, or that she is no longer as attractive. This subtle change can trigger a downward spiral in intimacy. In general, men need sexual receptivity to be romantic, and women generally need romance to be sexually receptive. As long as both get what they need, they willingly provide what the other person wants. But when there is a diminishment in one partner, it can trigger a withdrawal in the other. Thus, they will find that they have drifted extremely far apart and wonder what happened. As they begin to feel unloved and unappreciated, divorce becomes imminent. You have unfulfilled expectations. There is an expectation in all of us that when we are unhappy, those around us must change something to make us happy again. In love, we try to force our partner to make us happy again. This usually takes the form of whining, crying, blaming, criticizing, offending, threatening, and punishing. When one or both spouses try to coerce each other into doing things they don't want to do for their partner's happiness, it's a recipe for disaster. When you are unhappy in a relationship, it is okay to ask for the desired change. But if your partner is unwilling to do it, then you become responsible for your own happiness. You manage your money in a completely different way. Usually, it is not the lack of money that is the cause of divorce, but the lack of compatibility in the financial sector. Opposites attract, but when two people are totally different in terms of money management, divorce often occurs. For example, when one is focused on the future and the other lives in the present. Or, one has no problem taking out a loan for a house, while the other wants to save up to save money for the house. Over time, these conflicts can come to such a head that divorce will seem the only logical conclusion. There is no longer any physical affection between you. This isn't about sex, but about little hello or goodbye kisses, hugs or hand-holding. Those who no longer do these things and no longer maintain an intimate connection through non-sexual actions are destined to become alienated. You are interested in different things. Having common interests and exploring them together is essential to a successful marriage. Of course, having time just for yourself is important too, but if there are no shared passions, and you don't look for ways to experience them together, 
you will inevitably drift apart. You can't solve your problems without fighting. In every couple there are disagreements. The key is to develop ground rules so that each partner feels heard and respected. Sometimes it takes a third-party referee to help define these rules to teach us how to get through emotional avalanches so that resentments don't linger. That was our video for today. Please subscribe for more videos like this.